let us learn about uh, one of the members of bryophytes which is considered to be most evolved that is polytrichum polytrichum is represented by 100 species it is commonly seen growing on wet sandy banks of rivers, ponds, pools, on bare rocks, on the branches of trees which grow in shade, and on wet walls as carpet, a green carpet. Five species of polytrichum are seen in India. They are polytrichum Densifolium, Polytrichum juniperinum, Polytrichum xanthopylum, Polytrichum alpinum, and Polytrichum formosum. These species of Polytrichum are commonly seen growing in the Himalayan regions. The plant body of polytrichum is a gametophyte which has two different parts. One is an underground rhizome, the other one is a erect leafy shoot. The rhizome of polytrichum is an underground horizontally creeping structure which is roughly triangular in its outline. That is when you take a transfer section of the rhizome, we find the rhizome is triangular in its shape with blunt corners. That is why we say it is roughly triangular in its outline. The rhizome is covered by large number of leaf like structures which are called as the scale leaves. These scale leaves are small membranous brown or colorless. They are arranged in three vertical rows that is they have a phyllotaxy of 1 by 3 the rhizome grows with the help of cells which are present in the apical region and helps in the horizontal growth of the rhizome. From the rhizome 
the erect leafy shoot arises. The leafy shoot arises from structures called as the primordial structures. That is, at the base of every twelfth leaf, we count one, two, three, four like this. At the base of every twelfth leaf, there is a primordia which grows into a erect structure. This aerial erect structure forms the leafy shoot of polytrichum. This aerial structure is differentiated into two parts. The lower part of the leafy shoot is called as the transition zone. The transition zone resembles the rhizome that is the transition zone also has scale leaves on its body or on its surface. The other part that is above the transition zone we find the leafy part or the leafy shoot. This part is called as the leafy shoot which is the leaves of this region are different from the leaves of the rhizome. On the rhizome we find small membranous scale like structures or scale leaves whereas on the leafy shoot we find leaves which are green in color, they are green, they are large and resemble the leaves of higher plants. They are, their arrangement also is different. Here we have seen 1 by 3 phyllotaxy. Here the arrangement of leaves is 3 by 8 phyllotaxy. If we pull out one of the leaf and see its structure, the leaf has a very broad leaf base which is called as the sheathing leaf base and the upper part of the leaf is called as the limb. The limb shows a very broad midrib and this whole part is the midrib zone and it's very small wing zone that is the lamina of the leaf is restricted to only one or two cells in its width and only single celled in its thickness we will learn more about it when we do the section transfer section of the leaf if we see the structure of the leaf, the leaf has a broad sheathing leaf base and the limb, the limb has a very broad midrib that is maximum part of the leaf is covered by a midrib only one or two cells wide wing zone or the lamina zone is seen. Exactly opposite, exactly below the shoot, from the lower surface of the rhizome, we find slender, elongated, multicellular, thread-like structures emerging out. These thread-like structures are called as the rhizoids. The rhizoids of polytrichum coil or twist around one another and form rope like structures. The rhizoids help in fixing the plant to the substratum and also in conduction of water. Water, conduction of water is by two methods. One is by absorption that is the water enters into the cells of the rhizoids 
and from there into the shoot system. The other method is by adsorption. That is, water molecules adhere to the surface of the rhizoids and by the capillary action they are transported to the shoot system. Because of this efficient functioning of the rhizoids, the polytrichum plant, some of them are able to survive even in slightly drier conditions. The rhizoids also help in vegetative propagation. In certain plants of polytrichum or in certain species of polytrichum, we find small gamme on the rhizoids or bud-like structures on the rhizoids which help in vegetative propagation of the plant 